What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday night. Cheers to the end of the week. All right. So what I'm doing here tonight, or what I usually do, is well, what I do every Friday night, and I wasn't really wasn't too honest with you guys. You know, as I was in fitness, I used to post a lot of pictures with, you know, like my meal prep, um, eating like salad. What's up, Michelle? How you doing? Um, I used to eat like I do eat salad, but I only show you like the good stuff of fitness, right? Like salad, chicken, uh, you know, fish, that good stuff, you know, low carb uh foods during the day, whatever, you know, high fats, all that good stuff. But for me personally, like I'm not even gonna lie to you, I am a fitness coach. I'm in pretty decent shape, not in the best shape, got like 12% body fat. I could run like a seven and a half minute mile, whatever the case is, but you know, that's fine for me. Now, I'm just going to talk to you about like my food of choice and it's lasagna, right? So check it out, right? So I love this lasagna stuff. And um, I just want to let you know, so we're not talking about fitness, we're talking about food and what your, what your favorite food is. It doesn't, and I want you to be honest, like if it's really grilled chicken salad, then let it be grilled chicken salad. But I work out and do all that good stuff and I earn lasagna as a reward toward the end of the week. So I'm here to just tell you like, if you love fitness or you want to work out and you're just starting a program and you're looking up to people who have like 8% body fat, 10% body fat, and you think that you have to do that, like you have to eat these bland, these wild diets, like cleansing diets. I heard of a water diet. I heard of a uh, green tea diet. You're wearing these waist trimmers. You're doing all this stuff because you think that you're going to get to that low body fat percentage by doing long hours of cardio with these extreme measures. Now I'm here to talk about a lifestyle and adding cheat foods into your lifestyle. Like I said, mine is lasagna. It's pretty awesome. I go to a place in Freeport, this Italian guy, he makes it, well, his grandmother makes it. She came from Sicily. It has an excellent story. I'm not gonna go on about that, but this is what I do every Friday night. And you know, I just wanna let you know like, yo, the people that you, you don't have to do like intermittent fasting and keto and low fat and, or you know, no carb diets, like which I don't even, whatever but whatever the case is like you don't have to do that you can live your life exercise and still look and feel great and if you don't believe me how many people have done exercise programs that they fell off because it was either they were working out too long the food was just unmanageable and not sustainable and they just weren't getting the results they want now that's a whole lot and i've been in fitness for like six or seven years and i've trained a lot a lot, a lot of people, and the people who get the most results, the best results, are the people who make it a lifestyle change. And now me, like I said, my lifestyle is lasagna, working out, kettlebells, kickboxing, all that good stuff. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I eat salad and you know grilled chicken salad all day with salmon. Like I do eat that stuff because it's important. It's very important. But on Friday nights, you know, lasagna is definitely uh, it's definitely on the menu. All right. So I'm gonna. I just want to hear from you guys. Like, what do you what do you like to what do you like to indulge on? Like, don't, and if you don't feel comfortable telling me, just, you know, DM me. But what's up, Felix? I'm talking about lasagna. I want you to drop below your comments, like who, like what foods do you love? Like, I'm not talking about training tonight, not high intensity training or whatever, you know, all that good stuff. I'm giving you a break from that. Actually, I want a break from it too, to be quite honest. But I'm here to tell you like, yo, you can still look good, feel, feel great, look better and long-term success. Like, that's what we're talking about here, right? Like I'm eating lasagna, like this this stuff right here, man. Like, hold on, let me give you a let me give you a visual. Let me show you. Hold on. Excuse me for a second, right? But this stuff right here, man. Like, look at this lasagna, man. And a lot of my clients have this in their cheap food. So hold on, excuse me. Mmm. Damn. So I'm just saying that, like, and maybe you don't like lasagna. Maybe it's, you know, what's your cheap food? But mine is lasagna. So I personally think you're missing out if you don't. If you're not enjoying life, you know, as people say, live your life. What's up, Rafa? You know what I'm doing over here, eating this damn lasagna. Let me get one more bite as I talk. You know what I'm saying, guys? Because everybody thinks it's a game when I talk about this lasagna. But, yo, this stuff is for real. Like, if you want to eat some lasagna with me one Friday night, let me know. Look, look at this. Look at this. Ah. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's all about priorities. Now. Sorry. <laughs> Now, what I'm saying is, I'd be remiss, you cannot do this every day, right? Like, you can't have lasagna every single night. Like, don't have lasagna Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, then jump on the scale and say, oh, shit, uh, I gained seven pounds. Yeah, because it's heavy. Like, it's enjoyable food. That's why it's meant in moderation. You know, same thing as liquor. If you want to drink, do it in moderation. Don't do it every single night. Um, so, 
I don't do it every night. I do it Friday nights. Like literally every Friday night, this is what I do, but just once a week for the most part. And since I'm still in my 20s, I do it late at night. And as I get older, you know, maybe I have lasagna at 2 or 3 p.m. Who knows? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just, I guess, do more cardio or something before. before you know? I don't know. But that works for me, right? That works for me. That, it may not work for you, but that works for me 100%. I'm like 12, 13% body fat, um, like 175 pounds, 174 pounds. Feel good. Like I said, I could run a mile in like seven and a half minutes. I'm not Roger Bannister, whatever the guy who ran a five minute mile is, but I'm okay with that, right? Like, I'm all right with that. Like, whatever, like, that's just what it is. And I let people know, yo, you can eat your, you can have your food, Zach, like sweet potatoes. Excellent. Listen, sweet potato fries, you can have this stuff. And if, and if you want, if you want, but if you want to, you know, stick to a regular diet where you have a diet which usually never lasts, like, let's be for real. That's why people who go on these wild diets, they lose 40 pounds and then they, they hate their life and they just go right back because nobody wants to eat bland chicken, egg whites, all this is day. Like, it's whack. Like, you could do it four or five days out the week, but you need that hit of, you need that, like, something to look forward to. And this, I'm going to take another bite because it's just this good. I'm not going to be in here for too long because, as you know, I have some business to attend to in this hand lasagna, but hold on one second. Hmm. Can you see that in the camera? Can you see that? That is a full plate lasagna style, baby. And it's awesome. Um, I earned it. You know what I'm saying? And you will see, like, your fitness coaches, your celebrities, it's hot. It's, hot, it's August, I know. But your fitness coaches, like, they eat food that they may not want to tell you. But I'm here to tell you, hey, listen, I do that. And I encourage my online clients to do so as well. Not only does it produce long-term results it makes it enjoyable that's what a lifestyle is it's something enjoyable something you can do right that's why and i'll give you a clue i was a wrestler for seven years six years right and i know like you have to lose five to seven pounds you have to walk around sucked out all day that's not a fun life like it's not that's why people look forward as much as we love the season it was also a good chance it was a good people look forward to the end of the season sometimes as well because it was like food like my brother he used to, you know, he was 112, but he used to write recipes. You know, what's up, John? And he used to write recipes at the end of wrestling season. And to me, I don't understand how somebody can do that, like how somebody can be feeling sucked out all day, just, you know, for whatever reason, to for a lighter number on the scale to look better. Like, just make slow changes. Like, I've done that before. I'm telling you, like, wrestling and just being sucked out. If you know, if you wrestle, give me a thumbs up, or you know somebody who's wrestled, or does MMA like my boy Dre and Randy and all them? Like that shit is not like to be sucked out. That is not fun. It is not fun. And that's what I see in the fitness world is I see a lot of people being sucked out uh, on these wild diets. You know, I know people who don't even eat after they work out because they don't want to gain weights. And you know, like <laughs> like it, like I said, if this apply, if this does not apply, let it apply. I'm not gonna go back and forth arguing with people on Facebook and Instagram about, you know, hey, you know, I lost 40 pounds um, on chicken diet, on chicken and, I don't know, chicken and avocados all day and, you know, a half a cup of water for the day, one time a day, and I'm doing that for the past 15 years and I'm happy and healthy. Then that's for you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who want to work out and they want to eat some food that they like, like chips, you know, some some wine, some lasagna, some some sweet potato fries, some mac and cheese. They want to go to cookouts and enjoy themselves. You want to go to dinners and enjoy yourself. That's what this is about, all right? That's what it's about. Like, and I encourage you, talk to your fitness coach. Ask them, like, hey, do you have cheat days? Like, what do you do? You know, and if you're on these fitness pages, like, yeah, meal prep is awesome. And I think vegetables are great. They got great vitamin, you know, like vitamin D, vitamin K. They get you, you know, they clear your blood out. Fibers, fibers awesome. But at the same time, like, you want to have some decent food. And if you, Say if you're 100 pounds, you want to lose 100 pounds, whatever the case is, right? You want to lose 100 pounds. Maybe you should not eat lasagna for the first, you know, month until you get to your to a certain weight limit. Then you can slowly work it in, like like do half lasagna, half vegetable lasagna, half fried lasagna, something like that. But to sit here and tell you that you're gonna, you know, have a happy, successful weight loss journey and not have a cheat day, like that's just not responsible. And that's just my that's just my belief. Um, like I said. I guess it's up for opinion, but I know in my book, ha, this lasagna, man, this lasagna right here in my book, you know what I mean? This is what it is about. Yeah. 
sub Soma, as you know, Soma knows I eat lasagna and make no like I be telling but it just lasagna, man, like it might change your life. But the whole point is just not to get off topic, right? Not to get off topic. Make this journey sustainable, something that you enjoy doing. Because if you have a torturous journey, it's not going to be sustainable. Like what happens after you lose that weight, after you lose that 10 pounds or whatever the case, I'm sorry, 100 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever. Then what are you going to do? You're going to go back to Soma, drop your favorite food. Nick, drop your favorite food. If you're waving, thanks for waving. But give me your favorite food in the comments. And if you know, and if people tell you that they're just eating healthy all day, I'm going to call BS on that, you're right? Because I just don't believe it. Like, if they're, maybe they're sneaking and not telling you, but I'm here to tell you, like, I'm eating lasagna on camera, and I'm a fitness professional, and I help people lose weight, a lot of people. I post a picture tomorrow. Um, so, like, and I'm in decent shape, and I eat lasagna. So what I'm saying is I'm telling you because it, it, it can be you. That can be you. You do not have to torture yourself, right? And I just say because it, it, it really bothers me. Like, these diets come out. It's 40 new diets a day, like, ab machines, slide, like all this crazy stuff, man. All this crazy stuff. And it's the same stuff. It's been around for years. Intermittent fasting just means you don't work out. Before you, you work out on an empty stomach, like you fast it. And people have been doing that for years. They just eat a later breakfast. That's intermittent fasting. You know what I mean? Keto is just a low carb diet and you're and using your fat as energy. That's what keto is. It's, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just letting you know that these things have been around. What's up, Judy? Give me a comment, read, tell me your favorite food. I'm just telling you these things have been around for quite some time. So every new thing that's come out, fat burners, like slimming tea, like they work great. If they work for you, awesome. But don't sit up here and tell me that you want to do chicken and, you know, avocado all day, every day for the next 40 years. And if you do, more power to you. I don't have that willpower. As you can see, I'm going to get me one more thing of lasagna here because I don't have it in me. So I salute you. You know, maybe you should tell me how you're doing it because I'm not actually, no, don't tell me because I actually don't want it. Uh, uh, mm, uh, I am. Ramos does it again. I'm just telling you, that's how I feel about it. Now, you can do whatever you want, all right? But I'm telling you, as somebody who's been around the fitness world for a little bit while, not forever, but a decent amount, the same conversations come up. Not losing the weight I want. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to get the surgery. And if you get the surgery, you can't have any cheap food anyway, so whatever. Um, this is just not working for me. Whatever the case is, all right? The bottom line is, find something that works for you, all right? That's what I want to say. I am not neglecting nutrition. That's, that's another thing I want to say. Be very clear. Nutrition is very important. Your greens, your fats, carbohydrate, carbohydrates, and your proteins are super important for overall health. I'm talking about one meal a week, all right? And also, if you want to talk about, like, that's what I'm talking about. All that's good, but I'm talking about this one meal right here, right now, this one cheat meal, all right? There's one, you know, if you want some liquor or something, have that. I'm talking about that right now. That's what, That can be a reward for you if you do what you have to do. I'm not saying just sit here and just eat a cheat meal every night if you don't deserve it, but I'll just give you the work example as I tell everybody. Um, imagine if you just started a job, say it was about a, you started a job first month, and you didn't know when you were going to get paid. Like, you were just like, oh, I'm working. I'm putting all this work in, all this work in. And I don't know when I'm going to get paid. Like, I might get paid next week, might get paid two months from now. I don't know when. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when. But you know that if you do a certain amount, if you have a certain performance, you hit a bonus, you know that you will get rewarded, right? So you're like, that gives you a little more, a huh, little more like, let me get a little more compliance. Same thing with this. If you're in a workout plan and you're doing cardio and weightlifting two hours a day, three hours a day, two times a day, and if, like I said, if that's working for you, do it. But I'm talking to the people who this is not working for because that's what that is. Then maybe you should try something else. You might want to put some more rewards in your program. For me, you know what my reward is. You know, if I get a good week and I do like 90% of my goals, you already know what I'm... Mm, you know how I'm rewarding myself. Um... It's all in moderation, man. That's what I want to tell you guys today. Like, it's all in moderation, man. Like, you can do it. Like, you really can. But if you, I'm telling you right now, and I'm, I'm going to save you a lot of money by telling you this, all right? And a lot of energy and effort and aggravation. If it's not sustainable and you cannot do it, then you're going you're gonna to start for like two to three months and then you're going to drop off. That goes with food, whatever your workout routine is, whatever the case is. 
if it's not sustainable, you are not going to do it. That's just, that's just the bottom line. You're going to fall off and then you're literally going to be going like this for the next five to 10 years. And your friends are going to say, hey, I lost five pounds doing this, 10 pounds. And then you're going to be trying that. Then you're going to be trying this. Then you're going to be trying that. And you're going to be very upset and frustrated. And I, like, I've seen people do that. And like I said, when I was in high school, I used to have to drop down to 135 and I was walking around 148. I was like 10% body fat then, maybe eight. So it's like, you're going to have to get sucked out to lose this weight that you don't, you know, for whatever reason. But you could just do it in a very slower, more rewarding process. And, you know, like I said, if you're losing 100 pounds, you want to lose 100 pounds, you know, you can't start eating lasagna. You may have to start with something else, like some kind of, you know, pasta substitute at first. You lose that 50 pounds at first, then you can maybe do a lasagna every, you know, every three weeks, you know, something like that. And when it gets to your, your weight, then you're able to understand how this works, how your body works. But maybe I'm just ranting. Am I ranting? Can somebody tell me my ranting or not? Like, I would love to hear back from you guys um, because this lasagna, I'm about to close the camera. I'm about to go watch the Mets and cry myself to sleep because the Mets play tonight, the Marlins. And I just want to, I guess, inflict pain on myself tonight. I don't know. <laughs> but listen, that's just what it is, man. Like, that's how I feel. And Things good, man. Like, tag a friend. Um, you know, and, and let me know how you guys feel. Like, I'm going to go in the comments. I see 19 looks good. Thank everybody for commenting and liking it. It means a lot to me. Any lasagna lovers, give me a, you like lasagna, man. Let's all unite one day and just get some lasagna, sit at a round table and talk about, talk about life, right? Like, life. Well, it's about life. As you can see, I'm drinking my water. For you dietary, your uh, registered dietitians and nutritionists. I am drinking water. So, all right, fine, I'm ranting, whatever. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for, thanks for joining in tonight. I'm about to go hang out. I appreciate you for hanging in for this long. It's been like 10, 15 minutes. Thank you. I appreciate you. Much appreciated. Thanks, guys. I will stop ranting now. Um, any questions about how to eat lasagna, I can talk to you about that. You want to do that? I go from, I eat the noodles first. Uh, then I take the sauce after the noodles because the, the, the red sauce is awesome. So, hey, Lauren, what's up? All right, guys. I'm going to stay on here for another minute, and then I'm going to go ahead out. But, hey, listen, Lauren, do you have a cheap food you want to share? You want to help the people out with? I mean, lasagna. I might work. I'm going to work out tomorrow morning, but not doing that for lasagna just because it's going to work out. But all right, guys. No more ranting. Thank you for hanging in there. You're much love. You're much appreciated. Lasagna people, unite. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace.